welcome back to my channel my name is blossom okafo and today i am taking you to one of the most beautiful expensive and controversial estates in Oweri, nigeria i'm not just taking you on a drive around the estate but i'm taking you inside the estate inside rooms every nook and cranny to see what it's like to live like luxury in a way. I'm gonna talk about the controversy surrounding this property a bit later. So just join me. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you want more content like this. See y'all later. Reminds me of 
of like Europe. Yeah, it's better than hotel. Yeah, we play plenty of hotel. Yeah. 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 And there's AC, yeah? Yeah, I see it, okay. It's not there anymore yet. So it's actually not bad because it's close to the airport. Yeah.
makes sense. They said like 45,000 for the suite per day, 30,000 for the single room per day. 45,000 is like $100 a day. It's a it's built more like a apartment. Um they take it home more than a uh, suite. Nice. This is Royal Springs Apartments in a hotel, full side. Um, and we're waiting for our food. So yeah. So while we wait for our food, I want to get into some of the controversy surrounding this property. So at the gate here, at the entrance here, when we heard that they came in the morning hours to uh, seal up the gates without letting people inside to know what was going on. So it was in the evening we now came to usher some of our guests that were stranded at the gates to come in. Some group of people now drove in with their vehicle, so started harassing us hijack all our security men slapping them hitting them so started shooting inside everybody was so scared even all our guests they took some of our guests even my uh, general manager was also arrested along with them he sends his armed robbers kidnappers hoodlums in Imo state the government has today, the 19th day of February 2021, taken possession of these premises and sealed it against all encroachment, trespass or user by any member of the public. So you see, there's so much controversy surrounding this property right now. It is still sealed off um, from use. So allegedly, the former governor Roaches embezzled over 200 billion naira to build this property, among several other properties around Oweri in various family members' names. 200 billion naira is over 400 million dollars. So you can imagine how much money we're really talking about here. There is money in Nigeria, seriously. I put a link in the description box of the news article that I got this number from and it lists like all the different properties that are being investigated. Now the current Emo state government is going after all of these properties. I think it is a noble cause um, what the current government is doing if these allegations on the former governor are true. However, there is a better way that you can go about it and not put innocent people's lives at jeopardy also now there's talks of this demolishing this beautiful property but i think that the current government is moving with ego but not really thinking about what would be best for emo people this is a beautiful property um just the fact of it being there in a will bring p different investors to look at a way but wow we can build similar properties in a way two it's a source of jobs for people. So if I were in politics, I wouldn't demolish this. Just sell it to private investors, recoup the funds that you say were stolen, use those funds to 
do other developments in Oweri, and you still have this beautiful property to potentially drive investment in Oweri and to be a source of income and jobs for people. So anyways, guys, that's all I have to say about this property. I hope, you know, it doesn't get demolished because it's very beautiful and just being there gave me hope that, you know, Nigeria was really developing. So there you have it. So can you have a million dollar vacation in Oweri? Not quite, <laughs> not yet. Um, but you see this Wahala with this property is part of the reason why Nigeria is developing at such a slow rate. There's so much greed and this is the cause why there's so much poverty in Nigeria still even in a wealthy country like Nigeria. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload my next video.